What we needed was a dramatic advert that really captured the attention of viewers and also a storyline that enlisted their future support. Um, we also know from research that uh, the reasons why people support the RLNI is because of the ethos of our volunteer crew members. So unlike previous TV adverts, this time we decided to put our crew very much at the heart of the advertisements. The great thing about the filming that's going on today is that we're actually using um, an RNLI facility um, for filming um, for, uh, for a feature that's going to raise awareness about the RNLI. So it's the perfect use of the facility um, and it's something that the training department is very happy to do. Um, I think it's going to be very difficult actually, um, very demanding indeed. But this is meant to be a storm at night, the equivalent to something like Perfect Storm, the picture we've all seen, no doubt. Uh, high winds, driving, spray, rain, conditions which are almost impossible to imagine unless you've actually experienced something like that. And hopefully from a very large ship and not from a tiny little 22-foot inflated rib, which is what these guys go out in. Um, I think uh, to create that when there's no real reason for a light source for the storm at sea at night is heavily overcast with rain you're not going to have much means of light coming down possibly a bit filtering through the clouds and from what sailing I've done in the past I must admit you can't see very much anyway unless there's moon and in these conditions there isn't From my point of view I've been sort of bouncing about on the top of the water trying to operate um, a, sort of a camera through a big sort of rubber bag, um, you know, so, and bouncing about and trying to sort of stay afloat and keep breathing. The most challenging thing for me is that I'm not a strong swimmer at all. Uh, my agent actually told me I was just going to do a little bit of swimming on a film, that's all I knew about it. Um, I've been amazed at how good the equipment is, you know, the, the, life, the life jackets uh, and the dry suits. But I have learned, do do the zip up on your dry suit because it tends to fill up rather quickly. We've had and we have some terrific people on board. Uh, well, we have Michael Caton Jones, who is a fabulous Hollywood director. Uh, this is his first commercial in a couple of years and um, he's been on board the project from the start. Uh, Vernon Layton, once again, does big movies and I have worked with him for many years and he once again has been on board from the moment we got the script. Uh, Peter Schoons, who's an underwater cameraman, uh, who has done all of the Attenborough wildlife films, all for free, which has been fantastic. Um, and it, it's a, a magnificent team, it's been great, really good. Well, the show has gone quite well so far, I mean, it's been um, there's been a quite, it's been quite difficult. There's been, you know, we've got the water, the waves, the rain, and from a point of view of filming, it's just that it's just been very, very difficult. You know, because you just think you've got it right, um, and you're sort of happy that everything's focused, and we're shooting HD, so the, so it's so critical. And then all of a sudden the rain comes on, and you can't see anything, and. You know, it's it's bedlam. I think that sort of adds, that helps with the sort of energy. Because, you know, the guys are sort of, you know, the guys are sort of frantic to get on the boat and, you know, we're trying to get that energy in the ad and, and I'm just trying to hang on for dear life and, you know, save myself as much as get the shots I need. The nearest thing I can compare this to is when I played a, a private soldier in a World War One thing 
where I was actually in the trenches and with the uh, bombs and gas and all this kind of stuff going off around me and you know as an actor trying to bring out that tension that the soldier would feel and this is the nearest thing, this is just the same, this is, this is like being in the trenches but you're out there at sea instead. It is obviously quite difficult to uh, achieve massive seas in the tank because there aren't massive seas in here although what they do is actually pretty impressive um, and breaking crests so we will be ultimately in post um, hopefully creating a lot more of that with the computer and that will be in post-production when we get the stuff back to London. And the support we've had from the RNLI here have been utterly brilliant and they've helped us from day one. We came down and did many, many recce and they were absolutely brilliant. They have been tireless in their efforts to help us during the shoot and they've, we've had them in the water all the time, huge amounts of rain on them and they haven't complained one bit. The facilities here have been brilliant, um, they've fed us, looked after us and have been wonderfully cooperative and, and all together we've got some fantastic footage and we're, we're really excited about cutting it together, really excited.